I'm here with Kuro on the day before the group stages. And the big question on everyone's mind is what is the state of Navi right now? I think we are in decent shape, but the tournament will show how good we are. And uh, you guys have, this is like an annual thing now, like every year before TI, everyone's like, oh my god, Navi is in bad shape. But is it is it something that you guys are just ready to deal with, or is it just confidence? What is it this year? Anything different than last year? Um, it's kind of the same, to be honest. This year's hard. Oh, finals, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, but I mean, made the best win, right? I don't care what others think, so it's all about our results in the end. Did, uh, did you guys practice any differently? Anything change? Not really. We just practice hard and try to get in our best shape for the tournament, like every year. Do you feel there's a little bit more pressure this time? So many good teams, so much more money. Does that affect you at all, or are you just uh, a machine? The pressure is actually the same, mm -hmm. because it's about the title of winning the international. Mm -hmm. It hasn't changed in four years. The only thing that has changed is the prize money. The competition is always rough. I mean, you can say that every year the competition is rougher, because it's true that everyone gets better. But in the end, the international is the international, and I just want the title. Uh, do you feel, do you watch the qualifiers today? What did you, th you think about those? I watched some games. Like, I didn't really sit through all games, so I can't really say much. Um, I kind of expected MVP to beat Virtus Pro, and, but I didn't, I didn't know how good Liquid is, actually. So. And uh, what, what are your predictions for the group stage? Who's going to do well? Who's going who's gonna to you know, be in the top, whatever, two, right? Um, I think nobody knows that. I yeah. don't have a real prediction for that either. I'll just look at myself and my team. And what are you, what are you uh, satisfied with, let's say, at the end of the international? What would you be satisfied with? Only first? It's uh, kind of unfair to ask that question. I know, I know, I always ask people To that. any competitor, because we all strive for the first place, no matter yeah. what. And you've been there in many tournaments probably, and you can see that the second place guy looks very sad usually. So even that guy always tries for first. And uh, your, your national team uh, in, in World Cup doing pretty well. Uh, did you get to catch any of that or no? Uh, I actually watched the game, so yeah. yeah. And what, what do you think about, uh, is, is it the same kind of uh, atmosphere? Do you think TI, um, you know, it's just like, the, the kind of hype that you would get, do you feel like uh, like a true athlete now? Uh, well, every year that passes, uh, we all notice how big this thing is getting. And I mean, I wouldn't compare us to sports athletes, but everything is getting big and more people are getting into it. There's more tournaments, there's more of everything, there's more exposure. It's kind of fun. Yeah. And uh, what what do you, what is different about you this year than last year? Like, what have you personally, you know, learned um, in the in the full year that you went to TI uh, TI three and now you're at TI four? What's what has changed about you? About myself? Yeah, about yourself. Like your mindset, your which anything. Uh, I don't. Or are you the same? Uh, well, people don't really change much to begin with, so I'm same. You're the same? Just I, one year older? Just one year older. I've gained more experience. I've waited for this day one year and now I'm here again. So it feels like yesterday to me. Oh, you've been waiting since since that game five then, I guess. Pretty much. Right now. Okay. Uh, what do you think about all these young guys? The guys in high school and like 16 year olds and they just come, come into TI and, you know, first time, just $10 million first time? Uh, I'm kind of amazed. I mean, I've played for a very long time, and now young people pop up, and they play very good. They play very, very good Dota, and I mean, it shows that this scene has a good future, in my opinion. If you keep getting players like that, it's a very good sign for the game. And I mean, when I was their age, I played Dota already, but it wasn't big. It was very, very small, and at most, I could win a mouse pet. A mouse pad, right, yeah, I remember those days. So they're now in this age and they can win quite a bit of money. I think it's, it's the coolest thing ever, you know. And uh, what would be your advice to any 13 or 14 year old watching this being like, I want to be the next Kuroki? What would you, what would you tell them? <laughs> Become the next Arteezy, not Kuroki. Arteezy, who's that? 
<laughs> that dude, man. Just look at oh, him. Oh, hey. Oh, what's up, man? Hello. How's it going? Good, how about you? We're doing an interview here, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, got it. <laughs> no, but um, if you wish to pursue this career, I'd say um, I would just play. And the most important thing is that you enjoy this path. If you don't have fun doing this, then there's no space for you here in the first place. The best players in any sports or any competition in the world are always the guys who truly bleed for the game with all their passion and heart. That's the successful people. And, uh, you know, no matter what happens here, you're going to be at TI, TI5? Uh, I hope so. Yeah. I want to keep playing. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy the game. I love competition. So I want to keep going. I'm sure they would, uh, they would really use you well in, uh, in casting. Ever thought about that? I don't think I'm a good caster. Really? Got good insight. Good voice. Good voice. You're gonna be a, a good, good thing to say. Yeah, you're gonna. You you'd probably be a good coach. Does Navi have a coach? Uh, we do have a coach now. Uh, Goblog is coaching us. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. What do, What do you think about him? And how is he doing? I think he's doing a great job overall. I I really enjoy his presence. I mean. He hasn't really gotten to me much at all. It's mainly him coaching the Ukrainians. So, but I think he's doing a great job. They're, they're, they, you don't need coaching anyway. They're the ones that need the coaching mostly, right? Uh, I can't put it this way. It's not true either, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so nice. No, the, the thing is, I'm already in, in this position where I coach the team anyway, because I'm playing support and I'm coordinating everything mm -hmm. with Puffy. So, Kovlak is like helping us even more doing that. He's, mm -hmm. It's good to have a six guy who's, you know, objective point of view of every game we play and everything we do. He gets us more together and he helps us more. He's, he's a very good help. I really en enjoy having him in my team. And you guys have a, you guys have an American division now. Oh yeah, we do. Do you guys do you feel more uh, free? <laughs> 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 oh well. Um, I mean, the American division has nothing to do with us at all. This is Navi's business. It has nothing to do with... You guys aren't friends? You don't talk to each no, other? Or what? Of course. I mean, I've known some of the guys for years now. And mm, okay. I mean, they could be in any team. I would still be the same friends with them. Mm. Don't care if they have a Navi tag or USA tag. Or do you feel that's, uh, that's the way all the competitors are here? It's just like everyone respects each other and it's kind of just a big, mm. happy kind of thing? Or what? Uh, well, in my experience, like we are all doing the same thing, right? And we all know how much trouble we go through and how hard it is to get to this point. So if you live through this and you see other people living through pretty much the same experience, naturally you understand each other very good. So people are just friendly with each other. Okay. All right. Well, uh, group stages tomorrow, you guys are playing some tough teams. Uh, good luck. You know, you you have any shout outs? Last some some words you want to say to fans or? Yeah, well, shout out to my sponsor, shout out to my teammates, shout out to everyone watching this interview, and shout out to Arteezy. All right. Shout out to Karaoke. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.